Hey climbers, I want to take a minute here and show you one skill or technique that hopefully help you out in your next climb. Uh, I hope the wind stays died down. It's been pretty breezy today, so hopefully the audio doesn't uh, get screwy. But I'm going to demonstrate how I, now you might do it differently. This is a probably a 10 year old skill. This is nothing new and groundbreaking, but it's something that I think everybody should know or at least see once. And here it is. I'm going to show you how to set a redirect into a limb uh, so I can work below here without detaching my climbing system uh, or without detaching from my main climbing line. I'm doing this because the sweet gum I'm in has uh, sap sucker damage. It was previously topped. This limb out here that I'm on right now I don't completely trust. Uh, if it was a different situation I could just throw my lanyard around here like I am now, unclip, toss it through this crotch or link into my artificial redirect and do my business. But if you're out on something small uh, that you don't completely trust but you do feel safe uh, redirecting into it, this is one way to do that. For this skill I use my old footlock prusik because, well I don't footlock anymore. Had a clem heist. I'm gonna slide that out there so it matches up about the same as my climbing system right here. Link into that. I'm gonna check and double check that connection right there to make sure that's not gonna slide. Because my climbing line is loaded, the diameter is actually a little bit smaller, so your hitch might act a little different, or whatever anchor you use, midline anchor you use, might act a little bit differently. So I'm gonna make sure that's good and secure. slack from my hitchhiker. One of my common artificial redirects is a Munner hitch. Uh, I like it because it does move a little bit if this limb has a lot of give to it, but for the most part it's very static. And then I can put weight onto my climbing line slack out of my system and then the last thing I'm going to do is unhook from my anchor. Obviously I'm going to double check my redirect, that connection is good, this connection is good and I can slowly unhook that. I typically just leave that there. I might even slide it down here within arm's reach so that when I come back up to take this out, this gives me a little bit of a handle, I can clip right back in and do that all in reverse. Like I said before, this is an old skill. Uh, I learned this shortly after I started using uh, SRS work positioning systems because I'd get out to these places and I'd think, gosh, how do I get through that crotch or how do I get redirect out into that union without unclipping, lanyard in, and all this craziness out here. But that's how I do it. It doesn't have to be how you do it, but I hope it helps. Okay, see you later.